whatever is going on in your life or in our world, always know that you are cosmically anchored and intimately partnered in your evolutionary adventure by the knowledge that God is your father. The truth of the fatherhood of God is so accessible. All we need to do is to turn to him as a child and then we can realize our father. And once we've made that realization, we begin to sense the power of that liberating truth. The fatherhood of God teaches us who the creator is. Scientific cosmology can tell us that 13.8 billion years ago, there was a creative explosion. And in the first fraction of a second, the laws of physics kicked in. Scientific cosmology cannot tell you from where those laws, from whom those laws were given. Only that they kicked in, in a way that's beyond the capacity of physics to trace. But we know this revelation by faith, the faith and trusting dependence of a little child. And thus we can know the loving and merciful Spirit Father as our friend, <laughs> our companion in life's journey. The power of the truth of the fatherhood of God is that from it so many things flow that enhance that basic understanding of truth that sooner or later will transform this world into our destiny and transform us if we choose in faith into our destiny. The child becomes like the parent. <laughs> We start out in this material life and grow into the nature of spirit to be like our Heavenly Father, doing His will, receiving and returning His love, sharing that with others, all in the brotherhood of man embraced in the family of God, that is the destiny that truth and love and the power and sovereignty of the eternal God will someday bring forth on this planet. But what if a person struggles with that, having had a frightful, nightmarish relationship with his or her father. No worries. God does not stand on ceremony, does not demand a particular name, does not insist that you think in this way or use these words. You are free, infinitely loved. to choose the name for God that fits your spiritual discovery of this reality that we know through these human word symbols variously. Different religious traditions, different childhood experiences. In the end, it matters little what name we use. What is essential is that we know God and aspire to become like him. May you enjoy forever the comfort and the friendship and the love and the mercy 
and the spirit nature and character of the one revealed to us as our father. 